I love drawing, I love creating because I learn so much. I become a better person because I draw. That's the beauty and the gift that art gives me. The show at the Whitney right now is an incredible honor. I hope that this show just allows or at least injects this idea into people's heads that, oh, there's a lot of voices out there and they're really, really interesting. Drawing is the most immediate form to communicate. Whenever I'm marking on a surface, I'm thinking through those marks and trying to understand the world a little bit better. I gravitated towards portraiture because it was a means of playing with perception, playing with what you think you're seeing. You're creating a singular picture when you realize that that's impossible to do because no one is a singular person. They're multifaceted. People tend to, because of the nature of the history of America, put a lot of emphasis on skin. When I started doing this style, when I started rendering the skin in this way, I was thinking about what it felt like to have this skin on. There's an experience I had coming to this country where I realized that this skin became a definition. And that definition preceded me everywhere I went. And I didn't understand why. And so I decided to interpret for myself what that was, investigate it through these marks. And the more layered and data laden I could pack the surface with these marks, the more I felt that it was closer to what I was experiencing living in this skin and how it defined my movement. I was very honored to be asked to do, uh, to, to be an artist in residence, but I was also um, very reverential of the fact that this is a women's institution. It is something that represents women taking control of their own narrative. I want to engage with the students and let them, or at least have them understand that I'm coming at this on their level. I, I'm not here to impart, as, as a lecturer would, my grand uh, expertise on anything. It's, it's something that we're learning together. When it comes to the conversation of diversity and inclusion, it's not just about me being in the room, it's a diversity of thought in the room. I just want to offer a different thought process. And I would hope that I would be in a room full of all differing ideas and, and, and perceptions of the world. Because then I know that things can germinate in that room and things can, it can get really exciting. I said it in an interview recently, it's like, what is your purpose as an artist? I said, to make the world less small. <laughs> that's kind of at the heart of it. So that's what I'm gonna do coming into Barnard. And I'm excited to do that. And I'm excited to engage in, in a community that is all about that.